Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to read a plist from your resources folder aka one that you bundle with your application. So if you're creating a game that has a bunch of levels, a plist is ideal for creating the layout of the level. So for example, our game Glowbreaker uses plists and we include those plists inside the resources folder. So first of all, let's just add a plist we've got a peer list on the desktop so if I just go here so I'm just gonna copy that so go to the project folder go to resources paste it into there and now what I need to do is actually add this to my project so just drag that onto resources just make sure everything is selected the way I have it click finish and now in our peer list we have a bunch of keys so we got one for integer float string and boolean true and false so it's going to show you how to use all of those different types of data so to do that just go to your scene you need to do underscore underscore string asterisk file name equals string colon colon create and this is the actual name of your plist for me it's level.plist you can put whatever you want it's just depending on what plist you added next we need to create a dictionary so dictionary and I'm just gonna call this dictionary equals to dictionary colon colon create with create with contents of false so this is just going to get the contents of the plist file so we can actually do something with those content so i'm going to put oh, c daisy file name get c string and now what we're going to do is just create a bunch of strings for all the different keys so i'm going to put key name int equals underscore underscore string colon colon create and in here I'm going to put dictionary value for key I'm going to put key name int and just do get c string and this is related to what the key is called here so it's called key name int and the rest is key name flow key name string key name bool true and key name bool false so those are the keys that we'll use for all the other strings so i'm just going to copy and paste this to save some time change this to float change this to float change this to string change this one to string change this one to bool true change this one to bool true as well change this to bool false and do the same here so bool false and now what we can actually do is use these to get the values that are at the different keys in our plist file. And what we're simply going to do is log them out. You can use them for whatever you want. We're going to do log int value colon percent i. And for this, just do key name int, and because it's an integer, to cast it to an integer, we're going to do get. I mean, int value. So that will print out the integer from this key name int. And you might be thinking, we've got an integer, but we've put it as a string. And the reason we've done that is because obviously we're just getting a dictionary and we put it in a string, but we can cast it or we can convert it using this. We can get the value, so it's all good. And now I'm just going to copy and paste this, change this to float. This should be an F. 
float value, string value, and for oh forgot need to put this as a float. Need to change this to key name string get c string. For this, okay, okay, okay. Need to change this to an s. I was wondering why it was giving me a warning. Need to change this to bool true. And for this, I'm gonna put key name bool true. And I need to do bool value. And I'm actually just gonna copy and paste this. Change this to false. Change this to false. And now we're ready to run this bad boy. If we go into our log, as you can see, all the values have been printed out. We got 10, 5.67, hello world, 1, and 0. And these are the values that were in our plist file. So it is that simple. You don't have to have all different five data types. You can have just one value in there. You can have a hundred values in there or integers or booleans. You can have any combination you want. And this is the general format, format that you will use to retrieve those values. So that is it for reading plist from your resources folder. We'll have separate videos for reading and writing to a plist on your device at runtime. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk for slash question.php. There'll be a link in the description to that so you don't need to remember it. Plus there'll be another link in the description to our Cocos API guide with the written version of this tutorial. So if you just want to copy and paste it, you can check that out. Please rate, comment and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free. Plus it also helps us provide more content to you, the developer. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.